It's a game of musical chairs, played here by that proud association, the Land Rover Owners Club. Unmusical barrels, they call it. And at the drop of a flag, the thing is to drive off and find a barrel where you can park. Only one of them can claim the barrel they're aiming at, so it's sink or bust, because they can't both stay in this exciting race. It's the old party game that children play, only here it needs skill as well as luck. And there's no need to kick the bucket when you win. Just get ready for the next grueling hill climbing event. They go hunting in these cross-country vehicles, the members of this club, and they reckon to be in at the kill ahead of half the horses. They go exploring in Africa, knocking down shrubs and even trees that stand in their path, so on rallies like this, they don't mind mud splashing their insignia. They're ready for anything. Today, it's a hill climb such as you seldom see. Mud, mud. That's what they look for on a course like this. More mud, more mud. Without it, they'd feel they'd come unstuck. Land Rovers? Mudlarks would be a far better name for this distant relative of the sedate family car. This owner's club is stuck for one thing, new obstacles to overcome in their extraordinary tests. They once had a rally, and all of them drove five miles in a straight line through hedge and ditch cross country to keep a lunch date together, women drivers and all. It's the most slithery sport there is, and if you're only watching, you can say to the winner, here's mud in your eye, without feeling in any way, you may be making a slip.